Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess, baby. Happy belated to the three six babies. There is an email in your inbox waiting for you. Happy birthday to the three sevens. We have happy birthday to Essie, Anna, Desra, Pranathi Sharma. Happy birthday, Nay, Leanne, Ms. White, Gina Ross, E. Millie, Jessica Barber, Josette. Happy birthday, Tracy, Trish, Hannah, Boda, Kelly, Vivian, Soraya, Minnie, Steven, Sonia, like Fonia. I remember you from last year, Sonia. Happy birthday, Mitch, Erica, Sharon, Vega Moon, Marie, Suzette. Happy birthday, Emmy, Bettina, Mitra, Christy, David T, Big KG1111. Happy birthday, Dagny. Happy birthday, High Priestess Molly Mars. Happy birthday, Rhonda Lee, Kate, Eva, Karen, Denise, Yvette, and my Solar Marnie Oakville baby. <laughs> happy birthday, guys. And if you had a 3-6 birthday, stay tuned to the end so I can give you a belated shout out. Thank you so much for your patience. Your girl needed to recharge yesterday. All right, Pisces, let's see what Spirit has for us today. Tell us about ourselves, Spirit. <laughs> One more. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in playing insights for the High Priestess Collective. Highest timeline, highest insights, high, highest messages. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. Look at your freaking third eye. Kayla, do you see that? <laughs> that third eye is all the way open. Clairvoyance. You possess clear vision, Pisces. Perceiving with the mind's eye inner vision, or extended visual capacity that can include images from the past, in the present, or from the future. Clairvoyance is that inner seeing. You know, we have our five main senses, and then we have our clair senses, and the clairvoyance sense is tied to your um, dream space, your what you see in meditations, how clear your imagination is, being able to recount memories, kind of like a movie reel in the mind, or experience premonitions, seeing things that have not yet played out, and then when they play out, you're like, I saw this, either in a dream, or when I was meditating or deep in nature get ready for that third eye to become extra activated as this pisces season rolls on this is um one of your karmic payouts karmic gifts as a result of the clearing and healing that you do your clear senses will become clearer so as you continue to heal and release or um mend the parts of you that need healing that need reassurance that need reparenting that need coaching right as you nurture those parts of you you release the density of the wound the energetic density and by releasing the energetic density your clear senses kick up they come online faster harder stronger specifically your clairvoyance is coming through this could come through as you're like, if you practice divination, so tarot reading, using pendulums, Reiki healing, um, coffee cup, tea leaves. There will be certain things that are placed in front of you that will trigger visuals inside. Whatever it is that you are seeing, you're allowed to translate what you are seeing as a symbol. So it doesn't have to be like... The literal meaning of what you see in your mind just like dreams don't have to be a literal interpretation they often represent a symbol of either a feeling a need something that's been suppressed something that wants to be released or sometimes something that will be coming forward coming through okay seeker look at this gold veil again that third eye decor your natural thirst for wisdom and truth elevates your spiritual journey and self-awareness to help those that are also in search of answers in their own path. I already see where this is going. They want us to, they want you to continue using this gift for good. Whether it's reading cards, whether it's Reiki healing, whether it's, you know, you're a teacher and you're 
you're applying what you're seeing, the wisdom that you have to, you know, get ahead of things, to meet students where they are, whatever, whatever this is, like, even if you're not in the traditional healing, spiritual line of work, they want you to use these gifts for good. Because that's only going to assist you in healing self and releasing more density, which will activate this more. Something else that's coming through with this seeker is you, you ever go down rabbit holes where you're like, um, let me think of an example, where you're like, I've just become completely obsessed with ego death. <laughs> and you just go down rabbit holes of um, video testimonials on YouTube of people that have experienced ego death through you know, LSD or peyote or ayahuasca, plant medicine, psychedelics, or you go down rabbit holes of, um, tarot, like, like not just watching tarot, but like learning tarot, diving deeper into the cards, deeper into the archetypes. And then that opens up a trail of like, wait, these are, these are tied to astrological points. Wait, these are tied. These can be tied to gods and goddesses. Like those level of, you know, like I've become completely fixated, fascinated with, um, I'm trying to think of other examples. People, s it can have to do with spirituality or not is the thing. Whatever it is that you become like consumed by, fascinated by, that's for a reason. So you're allowed to trust that. And as you're consuming that content, that information, other things may become unlocked for you. Okay, that felt right. And mirror, look at your faces like a mirror ball. You disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves differently and begin to heal. Yeah, the ultimate mirror. So by you embodying this energy, you incorporating and interpret, uh, integrating this energy and meeting people from this place of authentic light, authentic interest, you click something in people or you like open people's eyes to something that they might not have seen in themselves that's a that's a real gift and that's a responsibility pisces they gave that to you because they're they trust you with that work that's it's beautiful all right let's see what else we have here for this clairvoyance Clear vision, perceiving with the mind's eye. One more. <laughs> okay, this is like exactly it. Ten of Wands, whatever dead weight, old programming, old old burdens that you were car carrying, obligations you were carrying, maybe like the expectations of others. As you put this down, Eight of Pentacles, you have a much clearer vision of what the universe holds, how you can use this energy and work with it for good, how you can become a master of this craft, this gift, this activation that is like expanding what you're able to see in a very clear funnel. We're going to use this one too. Give me a little more on the clairvoyance. What's to come with this? What's to come with the clear lines? Holy, holy, holy. <laughs> King of Wands, Queen of Wands. That's what's to come with this. Your feminine and masculine spiritual energy dominating <laughs> you. <laughs> this gives this gives you an upper hand. That's why that responsibility shit was coming through. All right, Pisces, here's the thing. Your feminine, masculine, spiritual energy are so activated right now, or you can expect to experience more of this, right? If you think about the Queen of Wands, she is the shadow work queen. She goes in and meets herself in the darkest of depths and transmutes that energy into a gift. And then she comes out radiant, gold, enlightened, powerful, uneffable, rising from the ashes, right? That phoenix, the king of wands does that and then sets up himself in a way 
where he is able to pursue passion from a place of self-assuredness. Also translates to uneffable. The king of wands is like, I see it, I want it, I like it, I got it. I don't ask for permission, I just go. And the queen of wands is like, I know all that I'm capable of and no one, no one can knock me off my ish. This is what's to come for you. Some of you might also be partnering with somebody who shares the same gift. Could be in business. And if it's not in business, there's um, there could be a, a work connection where this, this gift that you have, there's someone at work or like in your team, in your workspace, in your collaborative efforts, your day-to-day -day stuff, volunteer efforts, who also shares this. And you guys are going to end up being this like dream team where people are like, I wish we, I wish I had the chemistry and ability to yin and yang like those two do. It doesn't have to be masculine and feminine. Like it doesn't have to be a man and a woman. It could be two, two feminines, two masculines. Flip, like it could be any, any version variation of those, but one will be more. One will be in the masculine of like the doing, the driving, the going. And the feminine will kind of be like the anchor down of like, I'm the seeing and I am like able to kind of like predict what's going to play out in the space. This is fun, dude. Claim that ish Pisces. Kiss me on the like button. <laughs> oh my God. Bottom of the deck. Another mastery. Listen, this is, they are so serious right now. You are stepping into your mastery era. Your mastery year. Your mastery of self. Um, the mastery of cups is the king of cups, right? It is the I've mastered my emotions. I've a ma I've mastered all of the all of these tentacles. <laughs> I love the octopus energy. All of these tentacles they they used to go awry. They used to go in every which way. I've mastered them. I know how to pull my tentacles in. I know how to outstretch them when I need to. I know that my emotions are te teaching me something about myself, and my emotions are speaking to me in a way that's. Um, symbolic in nature i don't have to believe all the feelings i'm allowed to feel acknowledge validate and then move with those to benefit myself look at that the chariot that's what's going to make you a victor this is what this process this mastery of the gifts this mastery of the healing this um i'm not afraid to go into the darkness i'm not afraid anymore i'm not afraid to go into my pain i'm not afraid to explore deeper the things that have happened that are limiting me so that I can dissolve that, resolve that, and move the F forward. I activate my gifts. Okay. Sick. Love this. Oh my God. And another, look at all these um, court cards. Three queens. No, two queens and two kings. Mother of Swords, um, Ice Queen, Boundaries. Don't take shit from anybody. Stand in your fucking power. You know the truth. Um, your ice is also a power right? Your emotions are power. Your fire is power. Ice is also a power. You're allowed to go cold. You're allowed to go silent. You're allowed to just say no. You're allowed to say, that's actually not how we're going to do it. That's not how I'm going to do it. Period. Thank you. Next. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Seeker, your natural thirst for wisdom and truth elevates your spiritual journey and self-awareness, helping those in search of answers. So as you are in this work mode but it's like work mode it's like working on this gift activating like letting this gift guide you in like work decisions financial decisions spiritual decisions as this becomes your driving vision you're going to be assisting others i think simply just by standing in this and embodying this beautiful beautiful gift okay seeker seeker of truth seeker of enlightenment <gasps> say pisces i am the high priestess I am the seeker. I am the seer. I see with my eyes closed. I trust patterns over promises. I can see through the darkness because I am the light. I am the high priestess. Ooh, with the eight of wands. This lightning bolt, lightning in tarot, tarot students, lightning in tarot represents enlightenment. The gold also represents enlightenment. That third eye open, enlightenment. You see this pattern? You are in your enlightened era. It's limitless. We'll, we can always level up an, a level in enlightenment. 
Eight of Wands, though, there's something about your seeking of knowledge through your third eye. It's the development of your inner seeing, the development of your clairvoyance, and learning how to use what you see to move you forward. At the same time, Eight of Wands, fast move, fast progress forward, um, increased communication, increased downloads. Um, Pisces, I think this is a time where they want you to start to prepare to receive a lot more activations, a lot more clarity, a lot more visions, a lot more messages whether it's through the sleep space, the meditation space, or you're just like out and about and just start experiencing like, oh, I just know that this person is insecure right now. Okay, I just know that this person is triggered inside, though they're acting like they're not. Like, you're just going to start knowing, you're just going to start seeing. You're also going to be able to tell based on people's very covert, subtle patterns. Not necessarily malicious though. You're going to be able to tell with people's patterns, or maybe this is happening to you now, where you had a feeling based on a few things you saw with someone word choice body language responses and you're like oh this these three things i just saw little no one else really noticed it but these three things it's going to turn out to go it's going to turn down this specific pathway and this specific pathway has a very specific end result and i've seen it before this is not my first rodeo this is a rerun, good, bad, or otherwise. So if that's happening to you right now, if you're like, I'm noticing a pattern in a person or I'm noticing there's something about patterning that you're seeing play out where you're like, I'm, a, I'm already able to predict and anticipate what this next, next move or reaction or response is going to be from someone. Could, especially if this is work, eight of wands is communication. You could already have an understanding that like, it's just a matter of time until this person, I don't know sends an email that's like calling, I don't know, calling people out or calling for a meeting or sends a message that's like, hey, um, it doesn't have to be bad though. This can also be like, hey, I see how driven you are. I see how much um, responsibility you've taken on. I see how much proactive energy you are exhibiting. I want to move, I want to move you into a different role, different position. I want to hype you up or I want to, um, help you. What's the word? Not cash out, but not maximize, not optimize. I want to help you. God damn it. Something about like cashing out on your abilities. So it's like, it can be the flip. It can be the dark side of things, but this also can be the light side of things where someone notices they don't, I don't think this person, the person that notices your um, abilities, your ambition, your drive, your magic, they don't necessarily use the word magic is the thing. <laughs> There's like a person that sees how good you are at something and they're like, I want to elevate, promote, expand you in some way but they might not necessarily speak this language they might not understand like oh it's because they have clairvoyance they might just be like this person seeks the knowledge and the solutions that are needed at the time for maximized productivity and effective like workflow you know if we're like just talking work and you do have two eights on the table eight eight is prosperity this is the year of the eight this is a beautiful gift pisces it's wild how like your spiritual development, even if you're just doing it for fun, for healing, it's actually going to start impacting your finances, your career, your um, solopreneur, entrepreneurial journey. And it's not going to stop here. Okay, let's see how, okay. What's this going to result in? High Priestess, Eight of Wands, Pisces, kiss me on the like button, please. And thank you. I think you're going to have a decision to make. There's something that's going to come in where you're going to, I don't know if it's an offer or an opportunity, but you're going to have a choice to make based on, <laughs> it's based on your magic. Okay. Results here for Pisces. I love this reading. Wow. Temperance. Balance. That's, look, the two fish, that's you. You're gonna grow some wings and fly. Look at this, this spiral seashell. The symbol of the spiral represents the journey inward, deeper and deeper. 
there's something healing about what's coming in and the decision that you're going to make is going to allow you to feel seen and allow you to feel free. This could be like you're getting maybe more responsibility but more freedom <clears throat> in the workspace. And if it's not workspace, there's somebody around you that's going to acknowledge or validate the moves that you've been making in this healing journey, specifically around like how you're able to see things and it's from this like seeking. It's Isn't that funny that those words are so close to you're seeing more and it's through the seeking that you are seeing more. Three of Wands. Wow, Seven of Cups for real. Another third eye. <clears throat> okay. You're showing up as a leader. And because I was saying like a decision or a choice or something, Seven of Cups is options. So there's another options choice card. Three of Wands is typically like you're being presented with an opportunity to move forward beyond the horizons that you know and expand your limits or expand your experiences. Again, because of your leadership energy. And look at this. I love when the symbols repeat. Two butterflies. Two butterflies. The high priestess is two. You've built this transformation for yourself. And as a result, it is yielding <laughs> external routes, pathways, and opportunities for you to continue flourishing. This is going to be very harmonious for you. There's like no, you don't have to have any fear or trepidation. There's like a significant ex expansion for you. The pattern thing keeps coming up here. There's something about a pattern that you've noticed. You could be helping somebody with like, you either notice a pattern at work that can be nipped in the bud or you notice a pattern in some type of process that you are engaged in. You're able to be in it and step outside of it and offer like, hey, from the inside, this is what I'm noticing. And from the outside, this is what we can do. Maybe you've already said that. And that's going to allow for some kind of death and rebirth for a process, a system, or something that you are like, it's something you're invested in. And it ends up making things much smoother and easier for everybody else. I just went so deep there. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Damn. You're manifesting some type of fluidity and, and rapid expansion for some kind of process that you're part of. You might be coming across as like a godsend to some. Um, for some reason, you're able to see, it's your seeing and your seeking. You're able to see resolutions and solutions that other people aren't privy to. That's because that third eye. One, two, three. And to you, this might seem very like simple. Like, how'd you not see it? Like non-judgmentally, but you might just be like, how, how did you not see it? If you have your own business, this is actually, this could be literally you assisting others. <laughs> Even if you're not in the business of helping others, you as a business owner are able to see solutions to individuals problems and offer alternative pathways because you see clearly or maybe it's because you've seen the path that this person has been on like you've walked the path already okay this is very 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 beautiful pisces yes death and rebirth at the bottom another third eye and that snake transformation butterfly okay you are free. You like your transformation is it's here. It's here. And they want you to fly with this. They gave you the wings to fly. They don't want you to stay put. Allow yourself to elevate. And that elevation, that perspective, that higher level of viewpoint that the butterfly has, that's assisting you in seeing more. And the more you see, the more you can adjust to move forward for your own benefit. And it does look like it impacts other people as well. Okay, cool. And the mirroring, disrupting things. Yeah, this is like the change that you bring. Disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves differently and begin to heal. The ultimate mirror. Okay, we have three cards. Four, four, four. How freaking crazy. Smash that like button. I love this. Four, four, four. Angels are on your side. Angels are protecting you in this process. Four swords is healing. Four of pentacles is hanging on. And four of wands is the manifestation energy, relationships, stability, and security, strong foundations. You are assisting others in coming back home to the foundation and stability in themselves. 
this actually gives like there's some kind of support you offer maybe not directly but there's some kind of support that you offer people when their eyes open when they see themselves in you it looks like you're a catalyst and then there's still like some some support you give them in like a it's nurturing but it's not I actually think it's your vibe <laughs> It's nurturing, but I think it's your vibe. There's a soothing energy that you exude that lets people know that the mirroring they're experiencing, even though it's a disruption, it could come up as a trigger, right? Triggers aren't bad. Triggers are opportunities to pour love into something. Your vibration actually lets people know this is not a trigger to hurt you. This is a trigger to help you. And that's because of this very balanced spiritual energy you're embodying right now. 444, four, four, angels on your side. Some people might look at you as an earth angel Pisces. What's going to come of this mirroring? Liberation. Uh, what? The butterflies. It's crazy. By you flying, listen to me, Pisces, by you doing this, by you flying, you set other people's wings free. You set other people free. By seeing them in their light, by seeing what they're able to do, by empowering others. The people that come at you incorrect, you're also checking them. And even if you're checking them, there's, there's still this like, there's an authentic vibration of like, this is love. It might be triggering, but this is love. And you you give people the opportunity to set themselves free. That's a judgment card. It's like it's the awakening. Yeah, the star at the bottom, the ultimate healing. One more here. What's to come? Just one, not 100. Strength. This is like you're bringing people back home or like by you coming back home to yourself in this way, it's showing people that it's possible and there's a path. Your highly, uh, your solar plexus is super activated right now. There may, there's still massaging of that solar plexus that's happening. Another eight. So now you have eight, eight, eight on the table and that is abundance. You know what this is giving? Um, it's making me think of the fool card in the medicine woman deck, which is seeds, right? I think what happens is when you walk this walk, you plant seeds in people and you don't stick around to see if they, if the trees grow, like you just keep on keeping on. But a lot of seeds grow into these like beautiful plants, homes for butterflies, these beautiful flowers. And that only impacts the collective more positively. So many major arcanas. Guess the bottom of the deck and then please affirm it. Are you ready? You are the high priestess. Affirm it, claim it, smash that love button. You are the wise owl. You are the light in the dark night sky. You allow yourself to shed the skin that no longer serves you. You serve as a beacon of light, a mystic and a teacher for others. You sit and stand in your power and you trust what you see. Say it, Pisces. I trust what I see. You are the high priestess. Bottom of the deck, ace of swords. There's additional... Ooh, that looks like a quill, right? There's additional clarity coming through for you. Um, there's going to be some kind of aha, a breakthrough, communication. Tell me about that ace of swords. What is that ace for Pisces? I feel like God or the universe is being like, yes, Pisces, good job, Pisces, keep, keep, keep going, Pisces. You hear me stuttering? For real, this feels like, this feels like big, hard work. And they're like, but you're doing it. Keep going. Okay. Ace of Swords for Pisces. Magician. Something that you've been working to manifest, there's going to be a breakthrough in communication. 
or there's an aha of like how to do this next, a logical next step. <gasps> Holy God, Ace of Wands. And it's going to be inspiring, motivating, spiritually aligned. Oh my God. Because you're taking care of you. This has been your cup first. This has been the method the whole time. Your cup first. Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. I love this, Pisces. Claim this. I love you. Happy birthday to the three six babies. Happy belated. I'm sorry I was so tired yesterday. I could not read. It would have been like such a weird read. I tried and, and it just was funky. Happy birthday to the Mrs. Nati, Nina, Miranda, Jessica, Jess, B. Frazzo, 6, Miss Victoria, S. Marina, Salsa for Life, Salisa, Letitia, Angie, uh, Shauna, Lori, Anna. Happy birthday, Lori, Anna, Lori, 6, 8, Lenore, Sanchez, Helen. Happy birthday, High Priestess, Helen. We love you. Happy birthday, Diane, Farron, Wanda, Carolyn, Skelly, Vesna, Monique, Jacqueline, Regina, Kimberly, Sarah, Gaglia, Victoria, Salsa for Life, Carrie, Mary, Carlina, Rinaldo, Carrie Ann, Nicole, Mary of Auburn, California, Janice, Lady Laura K, Amanda, and Elemental Flow. Happy birthday, 3-6 babies. Pisces, hold my hands. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. When you're ready, breathe in through the nose. Hold your breath at the top. Take a moment to commune with spirit and let them know you received this message today. And release. And affirm, I am the fucking high priestess. Yes, you are, Pisces. I love you. Bye, guys.